Scientists have said that we currently know more about what's going on on the surface of the moon than what's happening within our very own oceans. These underwater worlds are mostly unexplored, and many of them are hiding mysteries that are waiting to be discovered. Over the years there has been talks of giant sea creatures that could be living in the depths. The Mariana Trench is one of the most mysterious places on the planet. The average depth of the ocean is around 12,100 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is called the Chandra Deep, and it's located between the Western Pacific Ocean and the southern end of the Mariana Trench. Challenger Deep is approximately 36,200 feet deep. So with this knowledge we should keep an open mind about what could be laying at the bottom of the sea. A few years back mysterious noises were recorded coming from the Mariana Trench. After months of speculation, scientists were able to work out what the noises were coming from. The creepy audio recording baffled researchers around the world, as they hadn't heard anything like this before. According to the researchers, the mysterious sound was recorded by a vehicle deep in the Mariana Trench. Scientists and researchers have suggested the most likely candidate is that of a baleen whale. However, the team came forward and said they'd never heard a sound like this before and that they had no idea what it means. One of the team members from Oregon State University said the following, It's very distinct with all these crazy parts. The low frequency moaning part is typical of billion whales, and it's that kind of twangy sound that makes it really unique. We don't find many billion whale calls. The sounds reported here are not similar to known sources such as noises produced by ships with seismic air guns. They also do not resemble geophysical sources, such as the very low frequency sounds produced by earthquakes and ice, nor the sounds produced by wind or rain. We hypothesize that these complex sounds were produced by a biological source. The complex noise still has many unanswered questions, with some wondering why this call has never been heard before, with others putting forward the idea that this call was a distress call and that the whale may have encountered something down there. It's not just audio recording that has been picked up on over the years. Physical evidence has presented itself to various people, which could prove that we share our planet with abnormally large creatures currently not known to science. One of these has become known as the USS Steen Sea Monster. This large ship was named after Tony Steen. No one knows where the event took place, but it's said that it happened somewhere in deep water. The crew started to notice that suddenly the ship started to experience technical problems, and ultimately led to the failure of its sonar. When the ship arrived home it was dry docked and immediately examined. It was said that whatever had caused the damage was very big, perhaps even an unknown giant squid species. The creature had managed to damage the rubber coating of the sonar dome, Engineers had later discovered that over 10% of the surface coating was damaged, and most of the cuts were very similar to those found on the suction cups of squids. However, the engineers said that this wasn't a normal sized creature, saying that the cuts were much larger than any known squid species. This has fueled speculation that the creature in question was over 100 feet in length. Although this sounds impossible, we have discovered giant squid species that were over 40 feet in length and some think that larger specimens could be lurking in the depths. Researchers admit that the majority of our oceans are unexplored, so there's a high chance that out there there could be much larger squids. Although this encounter sounds unbelievable, there have been past encounters that sound eerily similar to this one. There's even one story of a giant squid measuring 53 meters long, and this behemoth was spotted off the Maldives Islands. The man who encountered this beast was named J.D. Stargy. He was standing close to the deck when he could see something close to the water surface. After looking at it for a few minutes he decided to go over and take a closer look. He said the following about what he saw. A circle of green light glowed in my air of illumination. This green unwinking orb I suddenly realised was an eye. 
Gradually, I realised I was gazing almost point blank at a huge squid. He then went on to say that he tried to get an estimate of its size. According to him, he walked up and down the entire length of the ship and found the squid's head and tentacles at opposite ends. As of today, some think that abnormally large squids do exist down in the depths. If it's one thing that's been made obvious, it's that our planet has no shortage of mysterious creature encounters, and although the majority of these have been explained by science, there's still a large amount out there that remain a mystery. One of the largest predators in the world to have existed was that of the Megalodon. This giant shark could easily grow to be 60 feet long, and had a bite more powerful than that of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Strangely enough, although sharing a timeline that would have placed this creature on Earth around the same time as our prehistoric ancestors, suddenly and quite rapidly the Megalodon went extinct. Although the question as to what caused the extinction of this giant shark still to this day remains a mystery. Though many would remark that the size of the Megalodon made it an incredible predator that helped to allow the creature to dominate the oceans during its reign, the truth is that the creature's large stature actually proved to be more of a hindrance. In order to support its massive body weight and muscle growth, the body of the Megalodon had a tremendous metabolism. This meant the creature needed to consume massive amounts of food in order not to starve. This calorie requirement would have forced the Megalodon to eat more than 2,500 pounds of meat per day, and this giant creature would have had to have done this just to survive. Given the fact that the diet of this massive shark is made up mostly of turtles and seals, the Megalodon would have been forced to be in a constant state of hunting just to meet its daily calorie requirement, even going as far as possibly eating its own young in times of stress. Given the fact that the Megalodon often travelled over vast distances, this led to it winding up in new areas that didn't contain adequate food sources, and ultimately led the entire species incredibly vulnerable. Although most researchers agree this giant shark went extinct many years ago, there have been whispers of alleged giant sharks being witnessed by those who spend large amounts of time on the water. One such creature has become known as the Black Demon Shark. Over the last 20 years, it's been spotted off the shores of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. These reports and sightings have been made by a number of fishermen across the Mexican coast. They claim to see a massive black shark roughly 60 feet in length, and resembling the build of a great white shark, but with that of a dark coloration across its body and a massively sized tail. Given the fact that many of these reports fit many of the modern day recreations using megalodon skeletons, it's led many to believe that it could be a possible hunting ground for the creature. Additionally, many of the fishermen that have reported this sighting have often been veterans in their field, never having once claimed such sightings in the past, and having more than enough experience with different species of whales throughout the region. What's interesting about these reports is that we have proof that at one point in time these creatures were swimming in our oceans. Going back in the 1960s, there appeared to be another widely reported sighting of a megalodon creature in the modern day. According to the report, a captain of a 50 foot long fishing ship claimed that a massive white shark, larger than the boat itself, passed by while the captain and crew were sitting at anchor. When people began to question the captain and claim that he'd seen nothing more than a whale, he continued to claim that he was an experienced fisherman, and was well aware of what a whale looked like. He confirmed that it was indeed a larger shark, and that it was not similar to a whale of any kind. Some people who've researched these cases have said that these individuals just encountered everyday wildlife. But as some have pointed out, it's very unlikely these people would mistake everyday wildlife for a giant shark. As of today, it's not known what these individuals encountered. So what do you make of these mysterious encounters? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.